The Bad Batch, Season 3, Episode 6, Thoughts. This episode is called Infiltration. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything Star Wars leading up to and including this episode. And, yeah, let's dive right in. So, yeah, you know, Senator Singh is like, this was a very unexpected meeting. i not going to lie. When I got the invitation, my monocle popped. And, yeah, very, very tense with the operative, you know, comes very, very close to taking out. I'm, I'm afraid I don't remember their, their names, but it is very cool to see, you know, the, the, both Senator Singh and the, the, the blue, you know, young, yeah. You know, we've we they were in the Clone Wars, that you know the the animated show that this is a spin off that that Bad Batch is a spin off off of. And let's see. Um, let's see. Yeah, you know, and and yeah, confirm that the you know is is able to to attack and you know it's like what what are my orders neuter the targets i mean neutralize possibly neuralize and let's see Um, yeah, I, I appreciate the tension between Crosshairs and the, the, you know, the guy who was really hurt by the betrayal, you know, lost a lot of good men. And, yeah, you know, one can understand why he thinks that Crosshair is, you know, a, a double agent. And, yeah, very, very tense when, you know, Crosshair points out, you know, they, they, there's a tracker inside each of these covert oper operatives, and it's undetectable to, to scanners. You know, these guys are, you know, this, they're, they're being run by Hemlock himself. Hemlock is at the root of this. And, <laughs> I like... Batcher being like upset and Omega's like here here have have my food. It's kinda seemed like Batcher was maybe like picking up the scent of the the operative. And and yeah, like by this point Batcher is used to okay, you know, like I'm I'm not an expert, but I imagine a lot of these clones probably smell somewhat alike. And, and yeah, you know, it's picking up a weird smell. It's slightly different, but it's similar to what usually means safe. So it's, it's you know, Batcher's slightly off-put. And great action near the end of the episode. A lot of great little moments. And yeah, very, very tense lead-in to the next episode. Maybe that's why, you know, both of these... You know, this and episode 7 were released on the same day today, even though a lot of these episodes, it's it's one per, per week. Um, I, I'm not sure I have much else to say. But, but yeah, very tense that the, the covert ops operatives are you know, trying to get Omega back. Back for blood, as it were. And yeah, I I very much respect that there are consequences. You know, at the end of the day, Crosshair did side against the rest of the Bad Batch and you know various clones that broke loose from programming. Yeah, you know, that's not so easy to forgive. He he did get people killed with his actions, you know. It reminds me somewhat of Star Trek Voyager with Seven of Nine, you know. Very, very cool to have such a complex character where their past, you know, means that, yeah, good people got hurt, even killed. 
and that might be about what I have to say. Um, right, I appreciate the, you know, now that the Emperor is trying to amass power, suddenly, you know, people who were on opposite sides during the Clone War are working together to, to try to stop him. And that is also, you know, there's historical precedent for that happening. Um, right, uh, very cool that Omega got the an, another um, weapon. Looking forward to seeing her use that. Um, that might be everything that I wanted to say about this one but but yeah you know they're they're doing a really great job building you know I I continue to be really really you know I'm yeah really loving this this season so far and let's see yeah um I yeah, the the season so far very well paced. I appreciate the you know, the episode before this one did not really further the plot too much. I suppose overall this one doesn't especially either, but it sets up follow up to to plot. So, yeah. And yeah, um you know, Disney Star Wars does tend to do a quite good job of pitting the the heroes against some very formidable foes so really appreciate that honestly yeah most most Star Wars like live action and animated tend to do a good job of that so yeah consistent franchise when, when it comes to that